terms of, of triggering some sort of bite. Uh, even the big fish bites. For instance, I got a spot that, that I show up, and it, and it can happen at various times of the tides too. And I'll, I'll kind of get to that later on. But for instance, when there's small bait packed in this one spot, the shad show up as the tide starts going out. The shad show up and then the big fish show up on their tails. This always happens within like the first half an hour of the tide. The shad show up, bangs, the big fish show up, they're there 10 minutes. If you don't hook up with a good fish in 10 minutes, the small fish move in and they're there on the small bait. Now you can be fishing a small profile with a small bait and catching these small fish through the whole tide. Never realize that those big fish came in, came in and gone. And they were revolving around the shad, but the shad were on the small bait. Same thing can happen. I have another spot that happens in reverse, the tail end of the tide, where you know the, the, the shad in this narrow channel feeding on the white bait that's getting washed off a of flat. And right at the tail end of the tide, when the tide starts to die, the bass are waiting right on this bar for these for all the shad to exit. And it's a bite that lasts maybe 20 minutes, a half an hour tops. And when witnessed, it can be absolutely brutal. I mean, it's, <laughs> bass are something to watch sometimes. They can, when, they, when they put the feed bag on and big, big fish, fun stuff. But that happens all right at the tail end of the tide. Because the shad are now trying to get out and they've got the shad bottom. They've got flats, they've got this narrow channel, and they've got no place to go. So they try and run it and the bass show up and block it off. So bites take on various and sundry you know, patterns, and most of them revolve around small bait. Another one that happens in May is uh, you know, small bait moving up on a flat, the squid come in, you, you find the squid, and I stumbled on this one quite by accident. I was fishing with a friend of mine around a local spot. I kept hearing the sound off in the distance, and he was like, we were catching some fish, and I was like, I want to go see what's over there. You know? No, 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 we're catching fish. Let's stay and catch fish. Finally, I wandered off over there. It was the biggest kind of weak fish sucking up the squid. This was like the third week of the year. Now, the little bait, once again, it all revolves around that little bait. had drawn the squid, schools of squid, and there were these big weak fish eating the squid. And that, I don't count on that happening every year, but boy, I wish I could. That was a fun one. <laughs> but see, you know, a lot of the bites revolve around small bait. So that's always an important key when you're looking. 